welcome to my channel. My name is Brian Beebe. I'm a high school math teacher and a teacherpreneur. Late last year, I took Casey Morris's Transform Your Resources course, and I absolutely loved it, and I actually became addicted to taking courses for a while, so I wanted to review some of them, and today we are reviewing SEO Basics for the Teacher Author. So I will have this course linked down below. It's part of a group of courses that are offered by the Focused Teacherpreneur. So the other courses offered seemed kind of redundant after taking Transform Your Resources, but in Transform Your Resources, we learn about search engine optimization or SEO, and I wanted to learn more, so I also took this course. This course has five video lessons. The first video is on finding keywords for using search engine optimization. The second video is on how to write a description for Pinterest. The third video is on using search engine optimization when you write your blog post on Blogger. And then the fourth video is for writing blog posts on WordPress. The fifth video is like a wrap up of the course and then there are two course updates which I love anytime the person putting out the course is taking the time to go back and make updates because things change all the time, like my lighting. So obviously if you are blogging on WordPress you may want to skip the Blogger session and vice versa. So I went into the course knowing that I was not going to need the video about using search engine optimization for Blogger, but I watched it anyway because I'm a nerd and I just wanted to know everything that I could. And personally, I find that the fact that there's a lesson about how to use search engine optimization on Blogger is a huge benefit. So if you're not a blogger and you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, if you have a blog on self-hosted WordPress, meaning WordPress.org, you have access to the Yoast SEO plugin and that helps you actually do search engine optimization just through using the plugin. They basically tell you what to tweak and change and why and all that good stuff. I absolutely love that plugin. But if you're on Blogger, there is no such device for you to use, so this course is pretty amazing. Um, the course instructor, Heather, I forget her last name, but um, she goes by Hojo. You can find her ebook on doing SEO for Blogger and I'll link that down below. It's in her TPT store and it sounds like that could be a huge solution for anyone that is blogging on Blogger and wants to implement search engine optimization. With that being said, I strongly suggest looking into moving on to WordPress because WordPress is constantly updating. Blogger has not updated in a ridiculous amount of time. Like I don't even know, I just know someone's told me this before. So I've not researched this myself, but someone that I trusted explained to me that Blogger is not doing any updates. And that's just alarming information. So the strength of this course is that everything that you're being taught is very actionable. They're showing you what to do, how to do it, and telling you about why to do it. So it's very easy for you to take what you learn and apply it using your own keywords and your own products. And so I found that to be extremely helpful. So overall, I really did like this course. My one criticism, however, is that when they are explaining how to find your keywords and how to use search engine optimization, it's extremely basic. Like when they said SEO basics, they meant basic. And I will share this just because it's not privileged knowledge. It's the same thing that you'll hear from anyone else if you're looking into the very beginnings of search engine optimization. But they're talking about going onto Pinterest, searching for your term, and then using the search tiles that come up underneath just to get an idea of what people are searching for. And that doesn't really do a lot for search engine optimization. I wish instead that the course had talked about using Uber Suggest because that is a much more reliable way to find your keywords and there's a lot there. There's just a wealth of information on Uber Suggest. So really, if you're doing search engine optimization, you should be using Uber Suggest. But they're talking about checking Google and looking at your related keywords and using Pinterest. That's a really good backup plan, or if you do just want to keep it really basic for search engine optimization, do that. But if you want to do like search engine optimization for real, you need to start looking into Uber Suggest. So that's my review of the course. Short, sweet, and simple. And like I said, overall, I really liked it. And this is just my thoughts and opinions. I am not in any way an affiliate to the course or sponsored by the course or anything like that. I just wanted to share about this course because I really did like it and and feel like other people should maybe look into this course because it's a great option. So that's everything for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.